I'm gonna be real here. I'm not exactly sure how to do this video. So I'm gonna do my best. Bear with me. I had big visions for this holiday season to do some Christmas travel because I wanted to experience Christmas in different cultures and learn a little bit about the history of Christmas. So the first place I went was Colonial Williamsburg and if you haven't watched that lookbook, it's really cool. And the second place I wanted to go to was a place called Leavenworth, Washington. Now this town is a mountain town and it was virtually like just a milling town until the 60s when milling kind of died out and there was no industry and they needed money and they were like, we're gonna be a Christmas town. And they basically took the last of their money and their profits and transformed this entire town to be 100% about Christmas. All the buildings are Christmas names, all the streets are decorated for Christmas, I believe throughout the whole year. There's lights everywhere and there's tons of like festive celebrations. Now, this is technically called the most Christmas town in America, or they advertise it as such, but as we know, people are very sensitive about that because there's a lot of towns that really love Christmas. But we picked this one because it was, you know, in the mountains with the snow, and it just, it looked like a Hallmark movie, guys, and you know I'm a sucker for those. So we booked the trip, saddled up, got our car, and it's like a two and a half hour drive from Seattle. And as we're driving, we're increasingly realizing that the car we have is just not cut out for this trip. We didn't have four wheel drive, we didn't have all-terrain tires, and we did not have chains. And if you know anything about driving in snow, we were basically a recipe for a car accident. Uh, we definitely did not have the right vehicle. So as we were going over the pass into Levensworth, we realized that like we could not drive at night and we definitely could not drive in the early morning because our car just couldn't take it. So the first day we spent in Levensworth was amazing. I mean, it was snowing, it was magical. I was wearing my Christmas drindle and like a big fur coat, or is it drindle? I think it's drindle. But I'm in my big fur coat and I'm like, the magic of Christmas is everywhere. And of course it's a lookbook, so I'm changing looks. We go to the Festa Hall, we see like their giant like, I don't know, community center, just but like mega decorated for Christmas. And then we go to a place that is now near and dear to my heart called the Gingerbread Factory that makes the single best cookie I've ever had in my life. It is called a peppermint frosted gingerbread cookie. It is a soft cookie and it will blow your mind. So good. So we walked around all of the streets. You can see like the cute Bavarian architecture. It's, it's freaking adorable, right? This place is like Christmas magic. So we're having a great time. We have a whole bunch of plans for the next day, including sledding, making a snowman, seeing some reindeer, like doing all the stuff. But then we get back to the hotel and we realize the snow is not stopping, like it's picking up. So we check the weather and unbeknownst to us, a cold front has come in and it's basically going to drop a foot of snow in this region. And one thing you gotta know about like mountain snow is there's also wind. So the drifts will come across and yeah, you might have one foot of snow, but there'll be parts where the snow is deeper. And typically the roads, which are at the bottom of a valley, get all of that drift. And it's just terrifying. It's just terrifying to drive in. So we had to have a little powwow. We had like another day and a half planned there, but we couldn't drive under those conditions. If it were to snow, we were gonna get trapped. So we made, a, we made a decision that we were gonna leave the next day because we saw that there was a break in snow from like 7 a.m. to like 1 p.m. And if we didn't get out before then, we weren't gonna get out. So we made the decision to get up at 6 a.m. and film another look, which is, this, which is a ski look, which I really felt was really important to actually film in the cold. By the way, very good ski look, highly recommend. And then after that, we did the one thing that I would literally be so mad if we didn't do, which was go to the Leavenworth Reindeer Farm. Now, if you don't know about the Leavenworth Reindeer Farm, I don't blame you because I didn't even know about it. I didn't even know about it when I made my Christmas list, but it is the only place in the US, literally the only one, where you can still pet and feed reindeer. And there's a lot of rules and they're very safe about it and it is very clear they love their animals. But I kind of got a two for one because not only did I get to pet reindeer, which was everything I could have hoped it to be, but I also got to meet Santa uh, and he was very nice. He also has a message for all of you. 
Oh, you know what I want for Christmas, Santa? What did you want for Christmas? I want people to like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> comment and subscribe, yeah. please. Yeah. You heard it her first from Santa. I want to hear what you want for Christmas. No, but that's what I literally want. I want for to hear Christmas. what they want for Christmas. That's they, gonna be. They that's can a lot of people. And tell you. Yeah. See, Santa told you to like, comment, and subscribe. So you really have to, guys, or you're gonna be on that naughty list. But it was a like a magical experience. But then as soon as it was over, we were like, get to the car. We need to get out. We need to get out now. And even as we were like leaving, this was the scariest part. Oh my goodness. Okay, so our our car that we were in again, not equipped for the snow, had. We had used all the windshield wiper fluid because the carafe that held it in the car was like very small. And as we were driving, the ice and the snow like kept popping up and it would fog up the whole glass. And because we didn't have any window cleaner, we couldn't like clean it off. So luckily I had a bottle of water in the car for data and we were stopping like every, you know, couple miles and I was like wetting down the side so the window wipers could clean the thing. It was terrifying, <laughs> but we made it out. We finally got to a gas station because there's like huge stretches of area with like nothing except mountains. So like, that's the other fear too. If you get pulled aside the road, who's gonna find you? Who knows? But we eventually did make it. We got some <laughs> windshield fluid, but we didn't finish the lookbook guys. We got halfway through and then and then I didn't know what to do, right? Cause I was like, well, Austin, I certainly don't need these types of coats, but I decided it doesn't matter. So you're gonna get some magical Christmas town images and you're gonna get some images from my garage because I'm just making it work. And I think sometimes that's what the holidays is about. Just doing your best and making it work. So please enjoy this quasi Christmas lookbook. Everything that's featured in this lookbook is based around the coat. So I really wanted to look at warm winter wear and, and represent for my girls who are in cold places and need to know how to look cute while also being warm. I wore almost every single one of these jackets in the cold and I can, can attest that they really hold up. Shout out to the Athleta vest, by the way, which you'll see when I'm petting reindeer, cause it kept me way warmer than I would have thought it would, could have. It was, I'm gonna say 15 degrees and just having that additional warmth around my body really worked for some reason. So we also put shoes and yeah, full on looks. So enjoy our quasi Christmas look. <laughs> So, so they're decorating the Christmas tree with a star on top for you and me. Can you hear the sleigh bells? It's Christmas time. It's Christmas time. Way up north, they're making toys for every little girl and boy who mailed in letters because they've been better. So much better than the year before Santa's crossing off every wish Even moms and dads have made the list Can you hear the sleigh bells? It's Christmas time The sound of sleigh bells on reindeer Only come this time of year We dash up, dance up, prance up and fish and run, run
of your day. Links to everything are down below and I'll see you tomorrow. Peace. <laughs> They're going to be like, where did she go? She disappeared. She <laughs> just fell off the bench. <laughs>